Hey guys, my name is Andy Moore from the Infinity Racing Team and today I'm just going to do a run through of the lay shaft assembly on the IF-14 II. So we've had a few questions on the Facebook page um, about having a slightly tight transmission or sometimes a binding issue. Um, so I'm just going to give a, a breakdown of how to assemble the lay shaft and the roller bearing that sits underneath the rear belt. Okay, so here you can see all the parts on the lay shaft laid out. We've got the lay shaft itself, the biggest bearing which sits inside the rear pulley, then the spur gear holder, a slightly smaller bearing and the spacer, and then the holder and the pulley for the front belt and the smallest bearing on the outside. So with the lay shaft, what you want to check, a good point to note is the, the flat section that must line up with the motor mount when you install it. So here we can screw this together. You can make it fairly tight, there's no need for any thread lock. And then next slide on the bearing. and place the pulley onto the bearing and then remember to slide the rear belt on at this stage next you can fit the spur gear holder line those up hold it in place and then push the slightly smaller bearing inside and make sure this is fully seated and then you can put the spacer next. Uh, after that, you can take the front pulley and attach it to the holder. And then I like to just put a little bit of the SMJ anti-wear grease onto the pins. Uh, it just helps a little bit with the, with the wear on the pins with the vibration that you can get. And slide that on next and then put the small bearing goes on last and then you can slide on the front belt and finally tighten the whole thing together with a 3x8 button head screw you can also make this fairly tight and everything should be smooth and free and then the last and one of the next most important parts is to check the roller bearing underneath the belt. Uh, this you can just sl slacken off a little bit and just make sure that the bearing is just touching the bottom of the belt um, to make sure you don't have any a tight transmission feel. And tighten it back up and you should be good to go.